Musk published a tweet declaring that he would define the future of transportation five years ago. He just announced the delivery schedule for the Tesla semi-truck, so we can say that it's definitely here. In today's video, you will find relevant new information on this one-of-a-kind vehicle. What are some of its great features, and has this car established a new standard that competitors cannot surpass? Continue watching to find out. Welcome, and you're watching Technology Zone, where the home of technology resides. Join us as we discover the features and other aspects of the new Tesla truck in this video. Let's take a peek at its cutting-edge architecture, shall we? The Tesla Semi may have the most elegant look we've ever seen on a truck, thanks to its perhaps one-of-a-kind cab construction. It seems more appropriate to be set in the future. This vehicle has a wide strip of glass that wraps around the front and center of the vehicle and then slopes down toward the trunk. Because there is such a significant proportion of glass, the windows reach all the way to the doors. Tesla opted to remove the door reflectors from the semi to achieve better aerodynamics. Instead, information is sent from the cameras at the far back to screens inside the vehicle. But according to the most recent official photographs included in this article, the company is not planning to integrate such capability into production. When it comes to diesel-powered engines, it is essential to remember that diesel cars often have enormous grills to improve the amount of air that flows into the large cubic capacity engines. Because it is an electric vehicle, the Tesla Semi has a blanked-off nose, and its chin has a relatively small air intake to cool the battery, which is located in the middle of the vehicle between its front and rear axles. It used a 64 tractor configuration, with one axle in the front and two axles in the rear of the vehicle. The rear of the trailer is where you'll find both the trailer bed and the hitch. Musk has made significant assertions on the aerodynamic properties of the Tesla Semi, praising the vehicle's polished exterior and sophisticated architectural design. The Tesla Semi truck is not just any truck, rather it is a zero emissions freight carrying cargo juggernaut that surpasses ordinary oil guzzlers in every area, including range, economy, operating expenditures, and efficiency. Even the motors on this vehicle are worth highlighting because of how impressive they are. In the beginning, Tesla's Semi would have been equipped with four motors in the back. Nevertheless, a change that was made to the company's official website around the month of August 2022 claimed that Tesla would first provide a tri-motor engine, with the previously announced quad-motor powertrain being made available as an option at a later date. We believe that the company made this modification in order to speed up the beginning of EV's production. A semi-trailer motor with fully loaded cargo with a gross weight of 82,000 pounds can reach 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds while going from 0 to 60 miles per hour, and in over a 5% grade, highway speeds are not impossible. Additionally, Car. According to the company's presentation, an average diesel car can get moving in 15 seconds. In addition, according to Wired's statement published in November 2017, the semi would be equipped with motors similar to those found in a Model 3, each of which would provide 258 horsepower. There is more than 1,000 horsepower in all. At this time, there is no information available on the torque amount. However, since electric automobiles produce a significant amount of torque, we may expect the powertrains of the Semi to produce numbers in the four-digit range for torque. In addition, Musk has ensured that his vehicle has the highest possible range. You may wonder what I mean when I say its range is fantastic. For truck drivers, mileage would be an essential factor to consider. At the very least, in documents, Tesla has provided an extensive response to the range issue. The versions with the tri-motor and quad-motor will each have two different battery choices, one with a range of 300 miles and the other having a range of 500 miles. Both extremely low energy utilization versions will have an energy consumption of less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile. 
According to the standards governing trucks in the United States, the statistics that have been recorded seem to be more than enough. Truck drivers are required by law to stop driving for 30 minutes every 8 hours, as stated by the Department of Transportation in the United States. According to Tesla, the typical journey time for trucks is 8 hours to cover a distance of 400 miles. And surprisingly, it takes 30 minutes to fast charge the semi-tri engine up to 70%, which is just enough time for the driver to pull over for a while and recharge their batteries. However, neither automat writers nor range testing organizations have investigated the semi to verify the claim. In the United States of America, the restrictions of 11 hours for driving and 14 hours for duty include non-driving activities like unloading products. Truck drivers must have 34 hours of rest at the end of each and every work week. If carriers break these restrictions, they risk having their driver's licenses revoked, having to pay penalties, and having their safety ratings lowered. Let's move on to the massive boost in its battery capacity. Because of the enormous battery pack in the Tesla Semi, the charging process will take much more time yet must go at a significantly higher pace. However, Tesla has a fixed price for its mega chargers. Based on the brand's impact projections for year 2020, a change of mega chargers is being established at trucking rest stops throughout the United States and Europe to make it possible for truck drivers to travel great distances. Given that the paper was published more than a year ago, we cannot help but wonder just how far Tesla has progressed with the mega charging network. Tesla and other automakers have proposed charging stations for heavy and medium duty electric vehicles, such as trucks and buses, as a priority for funding from the government of the United States. These companies have requested that the Biden administration provide 10% of the cash allotted for the bipartisan infrastructure initiatives totaling $7.5 billion for electric vehicle charging stations to support transportation infrastructure for medium and heavy-duty electric vehicles. The vast majority of electric vehicle charging stations now on the market are designed to serve passenger vehicles and vans. Therefore, there is a need for facilities that are designed expressly for larger commercial vehicles. The Tesla Mega Charger will have a large capacity charging system and liquid coolant system to manage the additional heat created during the charging process. Pictures of a new generation of the Mega Charger that Tesla has acquired show a strong cable that can withstand enormous current demands and is designed to allow coolant to move freely. Not only is this battery itself charged, but so are the individual cells that make up the battery. The Tesla Semi will use 4,680 battery packs. Its length is 80 mm and its diameter is around 46 mm. At Tesla Battery Day 2020, the company's senior vice president of automotive and power engineering, Andrew Baglino, revealed that 4,680 cells supply 5 times the energy, 6 times the power, and a 16% greater range compared to the present cells. And from this, Tesla will get its cells from the Panasonic Corporation to power the semi truck. Kazuo Tadanobu, the CEO of Panasonic Corporation's energy unit, recently highlighted their 4,680 cells in an interview with Bloomberg. According to a story published by The Router on June 1, 2022, Tesla started receiving samples of Panasonic's 4,680 cells. According to Tadanobu, the company started mass-producing prototypes in May of 2022 after having already developed a significant pilot line in Japan in the previous year. In a more recent press article published on June 3, 2022, Tadanobu said that the Panasonic Corporation is contemplating which state in the United States would choose to create the batteries of 4,680 individual cells. The SIMs are presently being produced in the Wakayama plant in Japan, which the company owns. In an earlier report by NHK, which has since been taken down, it was said that the company planned to establish the Tesla EV battery factory in either Oklahoma or Kansas. Now, let's get into its one-of-a-kind interior, shall we? The interior has a distinct style. According to Tesla, the placement of the driver's seat in the center of the car improves the driver's field of vision through the windshield. Behind the driver's seat are two extra seats, which fold down into the floor. Additionally, each of the three extremities of the dashboard are equipped with a sizable touchscreen display. 
You may anticipate that these two screens will contain truck-specific features, emphasizing trailer data and other information, in addition to Tesla's outstanding user experience and basic package of connections. It will also include a wide variety of features that may be controlled remotely, making this possible through the Tesla smartphone application. And not only that, owners will have access to remote diagnostics, contact with the dispatch center, and position tracking. Another function is called predictive maintenance, which involves analyzing the vehicle's state to inform the owner when it needs to be repaired. Additionally, fleet owners may quickly have access to massive quantities of data, and when it comes to safety, the Tesla Semi distinguishes itself from the competition. Next, what is the FSD 10.69 update? Over the weekend, Tesla worked to roll out the most recent FSD Beta 10.69 fixes to a small number of beta testers. That is the moniker that they use to refer to it, however the inclusion of these extra features may also increase the total cost. And so, like usual, Elon went on Twitter to explain that the new patch would lead to much improved object identification as well as safer unsupported left turns. Musk has provided us with new information in the form of a tweet and this time it is directly related to the price increase. The chief executive officer said that the price of the FSD will be hiked to $15,000 in North America on September 5 and that customers who place their purchase before that day will still be able to get the product as its previous price. That indicates that there will be yet another considerable price rise soon after the most recent one which took place in January 2022 when the price went from $10,000 to $12,000. Inflation is a factor, as should be evident. However, Elon has maintained for some time that the price of the FSD would increase as the scope of the program's capabilities grow. This predicted increase in price by 25% would coincide with the broader availability of beta version 10.69.2. Now, what about the pricing, and how is this model compared to the competition? In the beginning, Tesla projected that the base pricing for the semi with a quad motor powertrain would be $150,000. Prices for the Tesla tri-motor have not yet been made public by the manufacturer. Nonetheless, they may be somewhat less expensive. The semi will not take any further bookings this time. According to the findings of a survey conducted by truck.com in 2018, the price of a Freightliner M2 was around four times more than that of its diesel counterpart. In connection with diesel semis, A to Z vehicle published on January 23, 2022 that the price of a Volvo VNR300 was $141,400 USD. According to Tesla, the operating costs of diesel trucks are 20% greater than those of electric vehicles. The average price of operating a diesel truck is $1.51 per mile, whereas the cost of running a Tesla Semi is $1.26 per mile. According to Tesla, the figures were derived using the following parameters. A journey of 100 miles, an average speed of 60 miles per hour, a weight of 80,000 pounds, a field price of $2.5 per gallon, and an electricity rate of $0.07 cents per kilowatt hour. The company is making an effort to demonstrate that the initial high cost of the electric car can be balanced out by the low running expenditures and minimal maintenance needs of the vehicle. During this interim period before beginning production, Tesla finishes constructing and testing prototypes of their vehicles on public roads. Even though test mules frequently travel on American roads, this is starting to change. Twitter users released a video on September 5, 2022, which showed three white semi-trucks with conventional mirrors, suggesting that they were nearly ready for manufacturing and two of the semis were towing trailers. The first sales of Tesla semis are expected to begin before the year 2022's end date. On August 10, 2022, Elon Musk announced on Twitter, the more reasonably priced 300-mile type may start selling following the more costly 500-mile option in 2023, when production is expected to pick back up. In large numbers, producing the Tesla electric truck will fall within purview of the Giga Texas plant, located in Travis County, Texas, in the United States. At this point, I'm sure we can all recall a time when we tried to get a piece of technology, but couldn't do so. 
discuss it in the comments section below. What advanced vehicle do you think would be the next one to be on the lead? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more weekly stuff like this and give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. And again, this is Technology Zone. See you guys in the next one.